Hello, JD. Hello, hello, JD. Hello, 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 James. Hello, James. Hello, James. Stop. Stop fighting. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the crapshoot. I'm your host, JD. This is my co host. The amalgamation of all James. things wrong in this world. I call him James. Everyone else calls him Jimmy. It just works like that. It's just a little weird, JD. It's just a little weird. A lot of things have happened this week, James. Have they? They have. I think. Well, I mean, if you if you don't have anything sure? to talk about, I've got like a I've got a couple of things to talk about. I've got like one big thing, but it's like just one thing. Oh, how big of a thing this is this thing that you're talking about? Um, is it actually big, or are you just exaggerating just so you can at my, be able to talk uh, at about my, it first? So you can. So I'm gonna get a bit intimate here by getting closer to the mic, almost uh, putting it in my mouth. Is it uh, okay? Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a while. Um, yeah, about a week. At my workplace, we've literally run out of material and can't make anything. <laughs> and we tell me your workplace doesn't work as a place anymore. No, because the people that are supposed to buy us our material, um, they do not like us. So they wait until I we run out. I don't know anybody that likes you. At your workplace, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you've ever uh, talked about Nazi Stomper Eddie. A group of people that are like, Nazi Man, I Stomper really Eddie. like That's how the was people at your by the way. That His the name person is Nazi Stomper Eddie. Okay, he likes me. I think. Well, I meant like as in you, as in you guys who work at that place, the collective you, you know. Yeah, that's because I work with pieces of shit. Well, I mean. It's- Birds of a feather flock together. You know, you know what Birds they say. Birds of a feather. <laughs> no, I just, I just know how to do my job. You sure I do about a very that, James? Job. And how well, I, how well, you, how well do you do your job after you run out of materials, James? Really well. That's what I thought. We're, we're, That's... we're pulling from scraps and making gold here. <laughs> I'm pulling, taking pure rock, we're crushing pulling with my from bare the, hands, and diamond pours out. We're pulling dump, <laughs> and we're turning shit into gold. You don't understand how good I can polish a turd. Uh, you yeah, understand no. how convincingly I can make a turd seem like a, a nugget of gold? You've, you've heard of fool's gold. gold. Get ready for shit gold. Um, <laughs> I, for crap we, gold. We've literally... Our... The, the uh, finance people at our workplace really fucking hate us. Um, and to be I, fair, yeah, we I really fucking them. hate them. Okay. But... Uh, they really like waiting till we run out of material to order more. Um, and they've well, yeah, done that you gotta, you gotta like to the maximum extreme. Efficiency. No, uh, it's actually maximum inefficiency. They should order it like literally when we send in, you know, the papers like, hey, we're going to run out in a week. Can you order so I can get here in a week? Um, and no. then uh, three months go by. I mean, Chase, are you, uh, <laughs> you, you, you're the one who's... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm exactly going to say when you mentioned three months as a time period for waiting. Are you gonna? <laughs> you're gonna be the one who's since the last time we played Payday Three, you're right, frustrated you're right. about about having to wait three months for something. That's that's you right now. I don't know, JD. I've been waiting for you to up. <laughs> I... I couldn't finish saying it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. I've been waiting too. for you to upload. Puppy Playtime Chapter Two's other parts. I well, you told me that you were gonna like do like a little editing thing and then send me it with your webcam and, in and there. Then I got over and then you didn't do that. Work. So, and then I so, got overwhelmed with work and I've never had a chance. That's still on you, James. That's still that's still the, you. The webcam in. So, um, despite that, JD, uh, uh-huh. that's not a job that I worked when I did that. Uh, yeah. This is, and they get paid to do. I don't know what. <laughs> nothing to get paid to get literally literally nothing because to it's... literally look at you in the face and be like <laughs> no and then that boom that's what they get paid for and then i kurt angle stare at them before i and pull then you see a new hire come in spine. you see a new hire come in and i'm like hey guys my name is jd i'd be taking over i'm gonna be taking over the finances now and then i point and, uh, out there's gonna be a lot of changes from here on out. there's gonna be a lot of changes from here on out first of all um, we're going to reduce your guys' salaries temporarily. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. 
So Anyways. no material. They just is it is it just like no they material. they don't have to order the material or they do. They, okay. It's literally their job. It's the one thing they actually have to do. <laughs> so, I cannot stress this enough. They and here's the thing is this was a problem from when I used to work there years ago. <laughs> Okay. And it's still a problem, and I think at its worst now. It's gotten worse, yeah. It's gotten so much worse. Um, what do you do we, when you just run out? Do you just not do nothing? You can't do it? Well, idle hands are the devil's plaything, and we've torn apart things. Well, idle hands are the devil's plaything, but you don't, you, you're not a God-fearing man, so why would you be a devil-fearing man? You're right. I I I uh, I embrace him, which is why we tore everything apart and built rebuilt it. Um, we have. I'm going to destroy this whole universe and rebuild Jay, it. If you don't understand, that's literally what we've done to our, our shop. We've been we, the uh, the giant sh metal shelf that holds the uh, material that we use, the aluminum sheets. We realized mm -hmm. there was a belt. There was like a uh, a bend in it where there was a little indent popping outwards. This is structurally unsafe. So what did we do? Uh, we began Destroyed to the whole cut shelf. apart and weld it onto it. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've added structural beams to it. We Bob the Builder. Can, can we build we it? <laughs> Bob the Builder. Yes, we fucking did. Um, <laughs> we already did. I can't explain this to you enough. We've torn this place apart and rebuilt it twice like a you, goddamn you Lego walk set. Into the, you walk Give into the, my money. The, the, the finance guy's office, you're like, when is that order coming in? And you're like straightening your neck, looking like looking up, talking at them. And, like, and then they go, ooh. And then they go, ah, oh, man. What, what, what are you talking about? What, what order? They've done like, that to us. That by the order way. I sent in a week ago, and it's still not here. We're almost out. They they did do they that. Go, to well, it. Are you sure you uh, sent that, that order? Are you sure you are you sure you sent in that hey, order? Jake, I don't you're know. making a joke. This is word for word what they've said to us. <laughs> we they, I don't. Uh, he starts shuffling around papers on his desk. And he's like, I don't. I don't really <laughs> yeah, see. I. I yeah. It's, if if you gave if you gave me that paper, it should have been here on the desk, but it's not. So. Uh, it sucks on their teeth going to oh man <laughs> go, ah, oof. tongue click ah. they make they make little grunts man, and just, pain uh, noises as if they're ooh. the ones that are that are yeah, they're, 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 as if they're the ones robbed. <laughs> <laughs> as if they're the ones inconvenienced by doing their <laughs> job yeah like, oh, i've just been it's i we're when busy you get here insurance right now, and, and the insurance company has to do what insurance companies do ah oh, man Oh man, I don't uh, know. <laughs> um, it's it's been an annoyance because we've had to submit like I think five papers now in the last three months. Um, Did you send an inquiry? I don't. It's not here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, by the way, these were just for the uh, the giant sheets that we used to cut the other signs. The, oh, there's more it's, it's, things that you yeah, needed, and it's not there. Blades themselves. Uh, we've been putting in that order, I think, since before I got there, which was the beginning of this year. Okay. Um, and they sent us the wrong blades. It took them a month to come over and look at the blades after we got them. Even though we collected evidence, we pulled out all the blades that were firstly fucked up, showed them, hey, this was not what we ordered. And then yada yada. Um, one month later, they come over, they look at it, they go, uh, ooh. They go, ah, ah man. <laughs> Yeah, wow. That's, but uh, that's you guys can still make this work anyway, right? It's because we already have <laughs> no. the blades. and <laughs> No, because it's like, it's literally, we have to do stuff by uh, metal thickness, and all we have is 080. Um, we can't make everything out of 080 because it's commission stuff. So if they ask for something like 0100, we can make that. Or no, we mm -hmm. can't make that, and that's a majority of things. 080 is specialty stuff. So it's uh well, you know, if you need a certain thickness, just like you know, put like make it thicker, feed it some food, not, or just hammer it, it down and just boom. Hammering it down <laughs> would make it thinner, JD. <laughs> you gotta make it thinner, man. Just gotta hammer it down. You want us to have O five O? You gotta have the O whatever works O. Now get yeah, back to work, I'll, Mr. I'll Squidward. Tell head off. Get back to work, Mr. Squidward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love how much those guys see like Mr. Krabs. 
which who just sits in his office and doesn't really do much. I genuinely don't know what they they do because like I've sometimes walked over there to have to talk to other people and I look in and I just see is them it just these guys in the other in building space. like in this like the same area as you or is it from like a whole different so place? we have three buildings yeah. none of them are connected mm-hmm. uh, and you have to walk to one another they are like beside each other but we do not have a door going to each other um, and it's genuinely classism okay uh, we are quite literally the working class they are the they are not. They're all the richities. Um, and then there's our boss, the working but richity class. The, wor- the richity, but he's working class? Yeah. <laughs> so those are the ones to my left, and the ones to the right are the richities. Uh, and God, do I always hate having to go over there, because they're the most pompous fucking uh, cargo short-wearing dickheads that will drive Ford F- like 450s or some shit. <laughs> They drive the the job the comically large trucks that you hate. Yes. <laughs> Literally, this isn't a joke. One of our people were supposed to get a work truck, and it was supposed to be a, a brand new truck and everything. They were going to get his work truck. Um. Then one of the people in the office says, "Actually, I'd like that," and they were given it. They don't need the truck. Cool. They have four other vehicles already. Oh, what's well, four plus one I, is five, James. I, I, <laughs> my head's going through the wall. I'm taking my headphones. <laughs> my headphones are off, and I've strung them through the ceiling, and I'm it's lifting like the, myself it's into like the air. It's like you're listening on this conversation of, of them being like, "Oh yeah, we're we're ordering a new work truck." So, oh, can I have that real quick? And then you just you just clap your hands together like how I do, and then just slowly have it settle back down. You're like, guys. Let's think about this. <laughs> it didn't look for me until you said clap my hands and sit back down. <laughs> clap your hands together and then slowly, slowly have your arms settle back into place. <laughs> Just slowly reset. Mm-hmm. Begin your idle animation. <laughs> Begin your recovery frames. So, oh, dude, it... okay. oh my god. I'm... So I've I've been literally so physically tired because I've had to do stuff that's been like the most I think physically exhausting because we've run out of material. I've had to like we've had to do so much other stuff to make up for it that we're like actually killing ourselves. It'd be funny if you <laughs> walk just, into the just financial guys' office and you're like, "Yeah, we're out of material, so we're gonna have to use this," and you just like rip something off their walls or something. Just they just <laughs> pull the chair up from under them. Yeah, it's like, "Hey, is this, cha- this chair is made out of it's made out of O eight O or whatever you're talking about." And you're like, well, "Let me take wow. it." <laughs> what what the amazing material this chair is made out of? Just dumps them out of it and just you pulls walk in. It out. You walk in. You start like whistling as you're like kind of lazily walking and looking around. You're like, "Who?" Oh, and you like I, I set I, on I the have chair. on a high vis vest. Yeah, corporate told me to come get this. Use your middle knuckle, knock on the chair a couple of times. Yeah, this will work. Yank. <laughs> feels like a uh, fucking smiling friend skit. You walk over. You walk over and stand. Uh, stand way too close to the financial guy. Guy sitting in the chair. You like, can I help you? You, you like spread your arms out across his table. You're like, yeah, this is this is gonna work. This will work. <laughs> yeah, just, just grab the whole table just no you take like, the tape no you, you like grab one just... side of the table you sh- you like lift it up and shake it a bit so all everything on top of the table slides off the other side yeah everything stays on top for a second and you're like and hey nazi stomper ed the, how you were introduced to me with uh could you grab the other side of this we're gonna take this we're gonna use this and Nazi Stomper Ed says sure before curb stomping the uh the, says, the financier. He says sure and he grabs his like wood baseball bat because he already used his metal one for your material and he lines it up against the side of the finance guy's office's head. <laughs> <laughs> My boss comes in and says, bite the curb. <laughs> the guy the finance guy does the curt angle stare at you. <laughs> As I nod my head and clap he before slowly brain, resetting. As he gets his brain splattered against the, the bat. Anyway, it's it's good to know you have such a good... Uh, I give Nazi Stomper Ed the, 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 the sound him hand signal. <laughs> Mons, Ed. <laughs> Do a little gesture. <laughs> Ed, <laughs> yeah, uh, so pop it and lock it. 
Stop it, <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, man. What were you I'm saying? glad your workplace has such a, a synergy between all the different classes that work there. Oh, yeah. We you just, it's uh, just we, nothing we but pure. Uh, we the opportunity. It's nothing but pure productivity. I think you should recommend like a uh, productivity YouTuber to. Um, to, to the workers there at your company and maybe maybe things will get back up and running i'm sure that'll help yeah no instead we're going to uh front load a salt gun and launch a uh, uh dead flies into people's time cards mm -mm. well i mean <laughs> we've already yeah. we've already started doing that to uh the employee okay star citizen is a game we're not sponsored by game. it. <laughs> it is I'm not aware a, of anything new with it. I've seen the past stuff. It's a cool looking game. It is a game. And I know that you, you're the one actually that made me aware of it, I think. Because you mm -hmm. said something about, uh, I, I started talking about, uh, whatever Bethesda's Starfield. Game, Starfield. And I was like, hey, you heard about how bad Starfield is? And you're like, yeah, they wish they could be like Star Citizen. I'm like, what's that? And you send me videos about like, some like lame videos from lame VTuber, dun, 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 VTuber. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, bed bananas anyway lame. their newest um it's the game's not out yet um well Still. i mean it's technically it's technically not out yet it's like in but you could play it it's in like beta or something i, I, I don't know what been, it is been a game advertised since 2019 by the way it's like early access and it's been in development for like i don't know how long like eight years or something seven eight it's been so fucking long it's been a long it's really it's cool looking time. it's really cool looking it's a long time they recently came out with some interesting microtransactions oh no but i thought were pretty interesting first of all you were like Oh, he's um, gonna love this. Well, they're dead now and nobody talks about it. But uh you remember you remember the time when NFTs you were a the thing? Time. You remember the time when NFTs were a thing? Yeah, oh no. <laughs> it's not quite like NFTs, but in my like functionally it's kinda like NFTs. You can't but say then, it's not like NFTs when it's literally gonna be just like NFTs. Well, I mean it's not just like NFTs, it's like similar to NFTs. So anyway, they they what they do is they you can buy like ships from their online microtransaction store. You can buy ships, but these yeah. ships don't. I, I'm pretty sure some of them don't actually exist in the game yet. So it's like a you buy a ship and it's like a promised eventually the ship will come out in the game and you will be able to own that ship for your account. Yeah, kind of I know um Does a that, couple yeah. a year or two ago I saw they were doing like an event showing off the future stuff where they were showing yeah. off like concepts and everything so you, you know they're like doing like a sort of like a showcase thing. You can like pre-order these ships, these ships that eventually come in, I guess. Yeah. And uh some of them go for quite a lot of dineros, James. Like real world money? Yeah, like real world money. You use and real how, world money to buy these ships to play in the game, how, James. How, how much? Well, how much, JD? I mean, some of them are probably like GD, some of them are like much? the average, like twenty dollars micro trans micro transactions, James micro how transactions, much, oh, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars. But GD, how much? you could buy some ship how packs, much, which are packs full of ships, how full much, of a GD? bunch of different ships. You could buy multiple GD, duplicates much? of a single ship. It's how much, JD? Forty-eight thousand dollars for a much? ship pack. 48 k <laughs> There is a how ship much? pack in there. <laughs> 48 k And you can buy, you can buy as many Christ. copies as you want of that pack. So multiple multiples of 48 k if you wanted to. Now you might be thinking like, well, JD, James, who would ever want to buy you these, these, these ships? Well, I James, would. number one. Uh, number two. <laughs> Damn uh, it. <laughs> I was waiting for you to continue, but I should have known. <laughs> number two, they're supposed. I guess they're supposed to be meant for like the guilds in the game. There's like I don't know what they call them. Mm. The guilds, like uh, uh fleets. Oh, JD, or well, I know what they call them. Factions. They, uh, they call them the yields. Wow, such an amazing delivery on that joke, James. I know you. I know you it's have been that, a wonderful you, night, everyone. I'll be waiting, seeing you in the, in the next one. You're waiting one. so long to get that out of your system. I could tell by the five seconds of silence that it took for you to think of a word. Anyway, uh, it's it's meant for like the guilds to buy, I think. 
So like uh, everybody in this guild would pool their money in and buy this 48k huh? ship pack. <laughs> 48k ship pack for uh for, squirt. for the whole guild. So at least that's the justification I saw from uh, Star Citizen heads that were defending the pack and stuff. I mean, never you don't have to down, buy it. So, I mean, at the end of the day, never back down, never if, you guys, if you guys want to buy a 48k uh, microtransaction ship pack for Star Citizen, hey, that's on you. I know some people think it's a really good idea because... James, you... You right, James? Where are you getting all these sounds from? I, I realize that all the discords I'm in, I can use all of their soundboards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you can. Yeah, but go me. Um, yeah. Thanks, so lobby. the 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 way that like some star citizen heads are like, James, can you can you let me talk for just a second, James? Just yeah, man. Just one second. All right. Zam. My family's not even letting me talk. Come anyway. On. Uh, the justification I've seen from Star Citizen heads about the price of the pack is, well, you know, in the future, this game is going to be like one of the biggest games hey, ever. Hey, Stinky! Right, James? This game is going to be like one of the biggest mm -hmm. games ever. So they're yeah, kind of has investing of in this future. I really think it's going to be doing a lot uh, with what they're, it has. They're investing in the future so that when, eventually, when, when the game does come out, ev eventually, and everyone starts playing it, uh, th it'll be worth It'll be worth it, James. It'll be a positive elixir trade. I have to go put my dogs up. Keep talking. I'll be back in right a minute. Right now? <laughs> yes. I won't keep talking. We'll just stop it right here. Cut to ad break. <laughs> hey, guys. No hey, guys. I'll see you in a minute. Obama. Soda. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love cracking spells. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you get them? <laughs> Legalize nuclear bombs. Uh, welcome back, James. It's uh, it's been a uh, ten years. You uh, doing alright? Have, uh, have you dog? Have you let your dogs out? No, I put I put them away. Okay. Well, anyway, back to what we were talking Shadow about before. Money Gang. We love Star casting spells. Star Citizen. Have you not actually played it yet, James? I heard Shout you out to your it. boy. You could play the early access version of it for like 40 bucks or something. On Xbox? Was, um, On what's, what's that? I don't, I don't know what that is. That's something you could play, play good games on? I don't... I don't know about that. You know what my problem with you is, JD? <laughs> yeah? You don't have the spine. You I don't do have, have the spine, guts. actually. It's, it's, it's in pretty good condition. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're nothing. James, have you heard of a little something called... I am better. Bananas. <laughs> Are you calling me bananas right now? Well, you are Bananas, but there's also a game on Steam called Bananas. And while we were talking about the Star Citizen ship Do I look like, uh, a guy being, like NFTs bananas? kind of thing, these are actually NFTs. Look me in the eyes and tell me I'm Bananas. Now, there is a little speculation going on that the vast majority of the players playing Banana on Steam are bots. And they may be wow. correct. Because guess what, James? A little game, a little a little Steam game, has taken over the Steam marketplace. Um, yeah. With its its funny little pictures, Tell its little PNGs. It, so basically, banana is a clicker game, and it's basically you click on a banana. You, you can't say that word. And what was that? You gotta call it just the c word. You can't say the word. I can't say. I can't. I can't say clicker are, are game. You gonna, are you gonna say it? I I just did. I literally just did. JD, I can't believe yeah, you. Me. Like that. Yeah, is this that's, that's, this is the James the James hits me with another another one of the most commonly used word one of the very one of the words that I use is it turns out to be a very problematic word, but I use it anyway. 
So you click on this banana a bunch of times and uh, eventually you have a chance of being given a random banana skin PNG NFT kind of thing. And you can sell it on the Steam Marketplace if you wanted to. Um, and, and um, you know, it's it's gotten out a little out of control. It's basically the new NFT. Mm -hmm. A bunch of people have, have uh, set up some bots who auto-click the banana and farm PNGs and they try and sell it. They try to sell it on the Steam Marketplace and it doesn't work. Or it doesn't doesn't make him a lot of money because guess what, James? They're uh, worthless. They're worth less than worthless because they take up space on the other thing. A lot of space. Who could have guessed? And um there's a lot of players on this game. I mean, last time I saw it, it was like what it was like three hundred thousand or something currently active players on that game, most of which are bots, I'm pretty sure. Um but I just thought that was kind of interesting because I haven't I'd never heard of it when it first came out. It was kind of like the Monopoly Go uh, controversy thing. I never heard of it until it was too late. Until the invasive species has, has already settled in and destroyed some of the local wildlife. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of games. Just to show you how fucked this world is, man. A lot of game news that I was going to, uh, to talk about, but that's, that's going to be a little bit... Yeah. I've relapsed, James. I think I've become a gamer again. Yeah, JD, you've relapsed. Have you seen me? I've I've recently gotten a bit more free time from work, um, and I've just been playing. I've just been playing games, uh, and it's that's basically it. and not streaming it. Basically, um, you've been playing games. Payday Three actually came out with a uh, a new update. Oh, is that got new stuff? I was talking and about. It that came out with a new update. Too. And it had, um, they revamped the progression system so it's not, so levels aren't tied to uh, completing challenges anymore. So I've just been having um, a blast stealthing all the, the heists and stuff and just leveling up like crazy. Um, so that was pretty fun. Unfortunately, they haven't added in any new heists. Content. They haven't added new, any, any new heists. Um, so that's... That's quite sad. There was a recent blog update for them that they're going to come out with a new DLC, uh, and I I don't know about that because I don't have I don't have like the gold edition of it or whatever edition it was that you had the DLCs unlocked for free. I don't have that edition, so um, good luck with that. I have two copies open of the same. There has been a recent trend. Of, trend? Yeah, trend. Like the drug? I could use some of that. What are you... What are you doing, James? What are you talking about? So, actually, before I get into the other... Thing I was going to talk about. I just, mm -hmm. I, I, re I like right when you left, I got a DM from one of my old friends from middle school. And uh, we haven't talked in a while. And the first message he sent me after, uh, after four months was an article. An article about how researchers have possibly found proof of alien megastructures. <laughs> And he said to me, hey, JD, do you think this is real? I replied to him, hmm, maybe. Let me get the expert in on this. It is a, it's an article about, I, I, I don't think it's real. You know, really? But, well, I don't know. I, 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 I would have taken it face I'm value. Not a, I'm not a researcher, James. I'm not a researcher. Okay, and I do think that there's probably alien life out there somewhere. Okay, and so not a superstructure, a, with a mega structure, James. A mega structure. Can you at least get your terms, your terminology correct? Okay, we're not okay, here to Omni, spread man. misinformation or anything. So, so, so sorry, Omni, Mega, Super, <laughs> Ultra structure, structure. Um, it's about how like, uh certain researchers have used telescopes and they saw like different stars 
in like far off systems and they're like have a weird shape to them and so they think there's like a a structure built around a dyson sphere built around these stars and Don't so lose anyway, it. Don't lose it. James, it's, 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 it's it true, dude. It There's mega structures. No, I don't want to there, are Dyson Dyson sphere, there, is, there are Dyson spheres. There is, there are, there are Dyson spheres, <laughs> not from the company that makes vacuum cleaners. Dyson spheres. Put a gun to my head, please. Do you know what Dyson spheres are, James? Do you yes. know what they are? Yes. Okay. That, There's super structures you put around the sun to slowly mega structures. Away. James, how many times do you have to shit. get? <laughs> <laughs> how many times do you have to talk about that? How many times do I have to correct you, James? It's it's mega structures. I'm taking my headphones. Yeah, off. it's basically a huge mega structure you build around the sun, so you can harvest like all the energy from it that it produces or whatever. And so, so like these researchers think they uh, they saw these mega structures really far away. And uh, anyway, I, uh, I I don't know if it's true or not. You know, I can't say for sure because I'm not a researcher. Um, does it really affect anything that I'm going to be doing in the future? Probably not. But uh, I thought it was I thought it was co quite interesting. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, and what was even funnier is that um, I haven't kept you up to date with my aunt's texts and yes it's that segment of the crapshoot again where it's james you can put your headphones back on you can put, put it back on james james you can put him back on he's spaced out right now you can't see him he's got his webcam turned on but just in discord so i can see it i'm not going to put it in the video or anything but he's just staring at the screen spaced out um my aunt sent me some some certain texts that are in line with usually what she uh what she says most of the time but one line caught me a little off guard because i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting it and it was is about how it was about how she sh she like shit her pants <laughs> that's not the end of it james <laughs> i knew james can hear me this entire time and he's just been doing this bit where he just has like a, a poke or blank face, mouth open, staring at staring at the computer screen. And I knew this yeah. would get him. She I said got so text. sweaty when I sat back down. I've been trying to do like a physical gag this whole time and you just were not engaging with it. I, I saw it the whole time too. Uh, you're right about me not engaging with it because it's a physical gag and no one in, no one in the yards can hear it, can see it. So it's so hot here and the ac is not doing much so when i sat down i realized how much i was starting to sweat yeah so and I was like, so oh this would be funny obviously just in like classic aunt fashion she just texts me mostly about um financial problems and the devil, or white devil relation problems and or um how white devil. how certain people of a certain race are uh stealing away her energy from her and also about religion christianity um but if it's not about that uh, it's about white. stuff like yep. um it's it's about stuff like uh, well actually let me let me set the the, the pace here so uh, i'll see if i can find this it happened like today um yeah so she's she sent me a text worrying about how much money she has to spend on repairing her car uh couldn't be me Wait, couldn't i gotta get me. my car repaired tomorrow too yeah so she said to me she the, the, t literally text right before the bomb the bomb was uh was a text about having to sp spend money to repair a car uh and then she, she hits me with the i lost my memory and i poop in my underwear last night again and that again. was the exact text she again. said and i was like again i don't i don't remember I, I was digging around in my little noggin but i don't remember ever hearing it about like that you, you saw her say you saw her so, say again and you just heard a loud clunk as you went digging again i heard the i heard the metal pipe sfx the pipe banging sfx and i was like what well, when was this a thing so apparently it's just just like i don't know if it's just like an old person thing what did you hear again um sh shits herself in her sleep and um yeah, that just came out of nowhere. I was at work and I pulled and it, it just popped up there. And so I was uh I was pretty I was caught off guard.
But luckily, the, the text right after that is, I still have faith in God, so it's okay. So it's right. Well, thank okay, God. Cool. Yeah, well, yeah, no, exactly. Literally. Exactly. Thank God. I mean, James, I don't... I know you don't like it, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just sometimes the, the way... The, the, the world's going to turn. God Why is going to turn like the world, it, whether or not you like it or not. Why would I not like it? Um... Because you're because you're you, James, and you just don't like people of a certain who have a certain belief and or of a certain color. But don't worry, James, because you know, news flash, most people in the world are just like you and they don't they don't like that. So who do I the Tokyo Revengers fight? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh they fight uh they fight they fight beings. Mm -hmm. Okay, they fight things mm -hmm. and uh and they have superpowers. So mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, you know they they have they're they they have they they're almost they're like superhumans they're almost like superhumans with the feats that they pull off that would kill nope, them all. They're regular something. people and they die pretty quickly. <laughs> One of them falls to their death from a two-story building. Anyway, James. Um, oh, you're right. Sorry, spo spoilers for Tokyo uh, Revengers. Yeah, you're going to spoil me, bro. I'm I'm literally just about to watch when, it. I, I had when, I have it pulled up in tab Cap, right now. I've episode one pulled up in the tab falls right now. From the second story window of the fashionista mall, and Inada is like, "No, don't! I know I've been a Nazi." I mean, James, really you're all like, "Ooh, this, this show is so Nazis and stuff." Is it? But who's watched it and who hasn't, James? I mean, it's just you, 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 James. You know about it. Why do you know about it? That's right, James. It's the square hole. That's right, James. There's been a recent resurgence in FNAF stuff from the VTubers that I've frequently watched clips of. Yeah, I've been watching and people it's play been FNAF weird, a recently. Yeah, it, 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 it kind of came out of nowhere. Um, there's been a lot of VTubers from the most Such popular, as. from one of the most popular such youtuber as. agency hollow live such and as. i guess i guess they managed to get perms for the game such as. permission to perm can you james can you just let me finish this okay such are you as. gonna hit me with the whole oh you like hollow live name every single member just stop just stop it okay james JD, why would it. i ever name every single member okay um uh eh. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me with the uh that that sound of that that sound that is in that meme of like, the wrong <laughs> it's like a big loud buzzer yeah, sound extremely loud wrong buzzer <laughs> yeah <laughs> usually an eclipse of clip of like uh some like large person who's like yeah i just finished eating a salad and i just i just did about three <laughs> oh no it was, it was they're at a, they're at a, like a restaurant or something like like yeah i ordered a salad but they accidentally gave me an extra large cho triple chocolate fudge cake and then like the <laughs> and then the yeah so i guess they recently got perms for it because they've been playing it a bunch and it surprises me how I mean, I guess they're gamers, right? They they play games for like a living, pretty much. But they managed to grasp like all of the uh, the mechanics. They play the first game, by the way, is FNAF One. Uh, wow. They managed to grasp all the mechanics of FNAF One without understanding English. So that's pretty. I that's pretty impressive. I, mean, I, think, I think I think a deaf person could do it. Well, I mean, James, I, you you couldn't do it. I could. I've never I know played that. FNAF I know 1. that if 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 you pl if you played FNAF One when it first came out. And you had no idea what the mechanics were of the game, and then you start playing it. Could you beat Night Five? Yeah, Sorry, night, I played night six? It before, JD. Could you beat it on Night Six? Well, I mean, you knew how yeah. the game worked, though. It's JD, just, you already knew I, how the game JD, worked. JD, JD, I beat Night Eight. So. I mean, James, you're you're the same person who's who's so scared of FNAF security breach that you still haven't finished it. I mean, it's just, isn't that you? Is that you, bro? Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right you can't even hit me with the oh is it on console because it is sorry you i have think it on i just got a notification you. somewhere else no that's uh, not that's not you know if whoa, it was a notification for you i wouldn't really i wouldn't hear it blowing, but i hear it really so blowing there. me up i think i yeah, whoa James. i think whoa. i think i need to go anyway though they have some pretty they have some pretty funny reactions to it sometimes people forget just how scary the first game is wild uh, but it is pretty creepy. The first game it has some creepy vibes to it. So, you know, mm -hmm. it is it is a bit spooky. 
obviously it won't spook me um because i'm you've I'm, never played it though i'm horror game aficionary i i mean I've never, I've, I've never played it but i could play it and i would be able it, to beat it no problem um i think somebody here hasn't played it yet jd there's been a lot of game news that has released recently and i was pretty um that okay. summer games was, fest really came and went huh I was satisfied with i still haven't done a reaction to the game fest because i haven't seen it yet maybe i would I, do it I, right after this but i think um, everybody that did see it didn't really give a shit either yeah i don't know if there were any like huge drops from the game uh, fest there's a new it was Legend xbox Zelda showcase it was Zelda. playstation play now or whatever that they're their um, game thing they're coming is, out with a new game Gears of War prequel game. Uh, they're coming out with a new Medieval Ages game. They're, uh, I don't know. Is this for uh, Xbox? Yeah, I only know the Xbox stuff and then like one thing from Nintendo. I, I don't even know the Nintendo. I haven't even seen the showcase. I, don't, I, don't I, I heard Nintendo's showcases. was disappointing. Uh, as always. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> Nintendo. What did people expect? Something good? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think the other ones were that much better. Black Ops 6. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, James. Black Ops 6. It's coming out. It'll be just like Cold War, but it's it takes place after Cold War in like the 2000s or something. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit that it's called Black Ops 6, but it's literally Cold War 2. Also, I don't know a single person who like actually gives a shit about that guy's character in the game. Who guy? The the, the white I, dude with like I the didn't bob watch hair anybody. and the scar across his face. After Black Ops 3, I've lost the story. I don't know where it goes after that. I, I know where the story goes. I like no details. It's just I can I'm genuinely saying this. I don't think anybody gives a shit about Cold War. Black Ops might be the only Call of Duty franchise that I care more about than others. Uh, just because it had zombies in it. And it was a pretty large part of my childhood. I mean, I'll say this. I think um, the Modern Warfare, the newer Modern Warfares have been story-wise good uh, for the most part. But I think yeah, they've also been three, way I too guess. short. People didn't like what? Modern Warfare 3. But I think one, 1 and 2 were fine. I mean, I, I mean story-wise. I was trying to say. Yeah. Well, I don't I think, think they like the story of Marvel for 3 either. Uh, according to who? That's not what I've heard. I think they pulled... I, who are your I, sources, I believe Jay? I remember they pulled a uh, somehow he returned or something. I don't know. With who? Or it was a... No, it was... Marvel for 3 was the one where... Uh, spoilers. was the one where Makarov is like reintroduced i think and he's got like the new baby yeah, face it's tom the, holland it's looking the dude. new universe and they're yeah like, and then he and then at the end of the game he like pops soap in the head or something yeah while everyone just dies. watches him do it yeah that that Blood one flatters everywhere and everyone's like that was totally cut off it was completely cut off i didn't even meant to censor that but thank god it was uh you could have offended a lot of people there there was um oriental i know in black ops one black ops one takes place in like what like 1990 or something it was like around way 19... before that way before that was it way before that was it 1980 yes um i think it was like 1970s jd was it the 1970s i don't yeah i, I actually didn't play black ops one i started on black ops two i know black ops two was like a futuristic one and then black ops three was also future I'd say um, Cold War and Black Ops like take place in, timeline wise near each other. Yeah, I was about to say like I thought Black Ops Six was going to be in the same like time era as as Black Ops. 1. It's a little bit down the road. It's like it's a, like slightly further ahead. It's it's uh is 90s. it like a uh, it's is, it? is it like a retcon of Black Ops? It was starting yeah, from Cold so War. They've done a, they did they did a retcon of the timeline with uh cold war okay where they were like uh actually technically none of this happens but also um, this actually happen. they go they go ah oh, man actually. they go ah oh, man they went oh, actually uh mason does get shot on both his legs and can't walk and so does mason mason can't <laughs> walk either so um excuse me excuse what? me uh, what? Excuse me, um, 
Excuse me. Yeah, so Black Ops 2 is like your future. Black Ops 3 was way in the future. And then I have no idea about Black Ops 4. I actually well, Black even, Ops 2 is in the future and the past. It was like, yeah, it was both. Well, it's like currently it's in the future and you get and you play like actually, flashbacks think, of the past. I think Black Ops 2 took place now. <laughs> no, it was definitely future though, I think. It was like 2040, I think. It was, Black Ops 2 was like 2040, 2030. And it was, ha and it, and some of the campaign was like flashbacks of you trying to remember what happened back in like, or no, of like what Woods was remembering back in like 19, a little bit past Black Ops 1. So it was like some of the missions took place in, in a flashback and a lot of them, and some of them took place in future. And then Black Ops 3 was like also future. I don't know how much further in the future, but it was also future. And I'm guessing Black Ops 4 was also like that. I'm not sure. I don't. I haven't heard anything about Black Ops Four actually. That was like the most um, yeah, low-profile launch. In Black Ops Four. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know anything about Black Ops Four. And then Black Ops Cold War launched, and that took place during the the Cold War, right? And it retconned Did you say everything. Black Ops Cold War. Huh? Did you say Black Ops Cold War? Yeah, Black Ops Cold War. <laughs> this idiot doesn't know how the names go. Oh, oh yeah, James. Stupid. Tell me, tell me their their name. Twenty twenty five is when Black Ops Two takes place. So literally next year. It was. It was. Well, I mean, when it first came shit. out, it was in the future. Fucking Come on, dipshit. Fucking dipshit. Sorry, James. When it first came out, it was in the future. Okay, it took place in the future from when it was released, like thirty years ago. Whatever. Whatever. Black Ops Two came out. Anyway, it took place in the future. That's all you need to know. Cold War came out. Uh, I I saw a little bit of the Cold War Zombies gameplay, and that was about it. I don't know anything what happened to the story. And now Black Ops 6 is coming out, and it's Cold War 2. It's, it's Cold War 2, because I saw the same character from it, from Cold War. And I'm also interested in what the zomb zombies look like. So, yeah. I'm, I don't know if Black Ops 4 actually had zombies. I'm pretty sure it did. It did, but I think but I didn't like, hear anything nobody about it. Nobody liked it kind of zombies. Hmm. I know Cold War had like a really weird kind of zombies where it was like uh what was it, it had it, it was like zombies had like health bars and you'd see the damage on yeah. those. And they had God, like a, that one looks so bad. They had like an open world zombies game mode where you'd run around like a battlefield or battlegrounds type of thing and zombies would kind of attack you from all over the place. Uh, that was an interesting that was an interesting take on it, but I don't think people liked it very much. Anyway, um, that was announced, and I was like, oh, that's that's cool. That's cool. James, is there is there anything else you want to... Um, I, I want to give I, you a second to just, you know, air out your grievances I, before I... Yeah, can I fucking talk? Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Because I just wanted you to, I just wanted you to like have a second because I was, I was talking a lot and you were, I didn't want to like, you know, yeah, this is going on my channel after all. So I don't know why I, it's not going on your channel, but that's, you, you can think um, that way. Whose name is in it? Whose name is in the title? It's not your name. It's, oh, it's, whose name is it then? It's some random title whose name that is I've it then? decided on whose without name is your, uh, whose name is it then? Yappa, yappa, yappa. Whose name is it then? It's uh, I think I think how you're trying to be nice, be like James. I'm gonna give you this time to talk. What do you want to say? And I'm just like, <laughs> and you decide to spend <laughs> that time trying to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I discovered a uh, a comic website where you can get a bunch of comics for free to read in full, uh, and it's really cool. I've been catching so up on a lot piracy. of Transformers. Sorry, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, I mean, no problem. I, I mean, I use, I kind of use a pirate site for watching. Take your headphones off. Read on my, okay. Deep, blow a train. When can um, I, uh, when can I put them back on, James? Not right now. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second, James. If, if I see your green circle pop up uh, three times, like blink three times, I'm going to put my headphones back on, right? Okay. You do that. All right, James. What's up? JD, why'd you put your headphones back on? I didn't tell you to, man. I didn't tell you to, man. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I said something, and I, I don't know if you were hearing me, because I, I didn't hear any 
didn't hear any like my headphones, my headphones were also off. off. I couldn't but, hear you, man. What'd you say? What'd you say? Well, how about we just keep the headphones on and then and then we can hear what we were, uh, what we okay. were talking so about. So what you're saying is that you should take your headphones off and I should keep them on. You, you were go. You, I'm going to guess about what you were trying to say. You were going to talk about something like about you were going to be talking about something about ro- rooster teeth. Nope. Maybe something about uh, um, Twitch streaming. Nope. Uh, nope. Transformers, uh, guns. Nope. Okay. So, um, I found a free comic website, uh, mm. where you can read comics in full for free. Uh, and it has a ton of expensive comics on there and everything. And I've been catching up on, uh, Transformer comics I haven't, uh, read yet or never had the chance to read because there was nothing like this for me. Uh, not sponsored. Uh, and also, I'm not going to tell you because I don't want it to get taken down. <laughs> Because I think if I say anything, okay. it'll probably get taken down. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, oh yeah, yeah. They're gonna they're they're wiretapped into specifically you, Jay. Specifically the crapshoot. That's what uh, JD. That's where all the know. that's where you all the feds know, are. JD. They're, they're yeah, hovering around know, our JD. channel right here. You so never know, JD. Be careful you with never comments, know, you leave. JD. Never know how deep those demons go, JD. Because there are extra birds around here, and they are um, machines. It's, it's. I think it's literally just called read all comics. I guess so, yeah. Fits the uh, name pretty well. Sometimes I you... found it by looking up Transformers Shattered Glass full online comic. Okay. And I think I found it that way. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I cannot believe yeah, you read actually... read comics online. It's just called, I can't believe oh, no, you would no, actually read, read off that kind of website, James, because I thought you were like... Like, oh man, you know, the you comic, like. in, the comic you industry like. is you already like. it's what you sound like. it's what you a deteriorating sound like. because um, most no, people it's called read all comics. Don't That's read, read, com- read buy all comics, comics anymore. And you can literally just find everyone online can just type out comics. Headphones off. I'm talking. Well, my headphones aren't coming off, but you can talk. You can talk while I'm talking over you, despite me like a minute ago saying that you could talk. Go ahead, James. Yeah, James, I know, I know. Don't throw a tantrum, man. Come on now. You this, I can't this is a you're show where you can talk Pride. about anything you want to talk about. I can't believe you're doing this during Pride Month. <laughs> I'm prideful too. We can we can get all <laughs> I mean James, the, the month's almost over. It's uh, what's 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 it with is. a little early or, to... early end, you know? Right, you're right. We should celebrate all year. Like I'm like I'm like a I'm like a large company, and I just can't wait for the month to end. You're you're like uh t- you like Target. You aren't even going to put anything up this year because you don't want uh, conservatives to come marching through. I guess. Yeah. Your real bottom line. I mean, that I is guess. a pretty annoying thing. I mean, that's kind of really the opposite of. The... I... Yeah, you got to bump those numbers up. Oh, man, what are we going to do without um white ladies? Without white women, evil white women, James. Are you are you my aunt all of a sudden? Where are the white women at? <laughs> um, no, but yeah, just a really cool free comic reading website called Read All Comics. I'm getting sweaty again, uh, because I'm getting worked up. Am I, yeah, you really made am me I making you a little angry, James. <laughs> by steaming your hams a little bit. Aurora Borealis, at this time of year, located entirely within your kitchen. Er, yes. That just reminded me of something, but I didn't want to interrupt you, so you just... No, go ahead. Can you just fine. F- okay. It's not like you haven't interrupted me already. Okay. It's not like my life has been one big interruption by you. So, you know how I've, I, I've met... I, I meet a lot of people in my work now. A bunch of random strangers... That I have to talk to Not at like work. I was in the middle of talking or anything. And okay. um, uh, I I forgot to mention this when I talked yeah, about that like dude dying in front of me at I work. I had anything important to say. Oh, and, here he goes with uh, the dude dying again. That, that, <laughs> Same old story. When that dude died, one of the really people sitting at my on table, this. one of the people sitting at my table was like, uh, you know why he collapsed, right? Like talking to the other players and me. He was like, uh, it's because of the it's because of the vaccine. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, people didn't people didn't use it just fall over and die all the time. But now after after everyone got the vaccine, all of a sudden, ooh. <laughs> and then one of the other players at the table, actually, everybody was like, everybody was like, had the look on their face, like, man, I don't want to deal with this right now. I don't care. And one of the dudes is like, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that like that dude. They said that dude had a history of heart condition and and, and his family suffered from it, and also people oh, no, did. No, no, no. But also, people did fall over and die, you know? That's kind of what happens when you get a heart attack. Before the vaccine happened, you know, that that still happened. Uh, but then, it would, and then, and then they, they quickly called it off. Like, luckily, the dude wasn't like a, it wasn't like a stickler for it. He, was, he wasn't like, a, no, I, I want to make this a real point. He was just like, nah, you know, let's just not talk about this. Let's just play. So, you know, props to the dude. You know, you can think whatever you want to think, even if what you think is wrong. Um... And it's totally cool. I mean, just look at James. He's still ben, he's like thriving. He he's thriving despite all of the things that he said. So, you know, just uh, you do. I'm you. living the happiest in my life. I, I sure, definitely do. I'm have sure a... that outside, outside of the internet, <laughs> by, and the way, the I, I abs- by the way, I absolutely had a mental breakdown on my stream the other day. That's not even a joke. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely had a moment where I mentally paused and went, "Why?" <laughs> I, I, I mean, was making, literally I was, every single waking moment James has outside of the crapshoot uh, is is just like roses and daisies, like rainbow, leprechaun at the end of the rainbow, not, pot of gold. It's anything but. You do that. Uh, it's like the intro. T- it's that one intro scene, or uh, the second intro scene for Saints Row Four, the game where the main character is. is plugged into the matrix and he's like he does the, his walks animation changes like this really like hip skippity kind of uh jog happy jog um anyway you you were you were talking about something before i uh before i had to talk about my more important thing james what? the comics um, you, you just read a bunch of comics and that's it james or yeah I, I read, what I read comics, comics. Have you read? Um, I've been catching up on the Transformers Timelines comics. I'm reading the More Than Meets the Eye uh, IDW comics. Yeah, the Transformers uh, are, in the Sky are... IDF com- comics. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so... Yeah, we can just end it here, man. Well, I, we, there is no craft th- shoot on YouTube. I think we could, but it might come a little short. There is no craft shoot, bossing say. Because there was like a ten minute span of you weren't here, so. I mean, I, I get. I look at how much time. Look how much dead dead silence I'm giving you to to finish whatever you're talking about. Yeah, man. <laughs> you have it with the yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm playing with my transformers right now, JD. Yeah, 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 I can't yeah, listen yeah. to you. But that's not really one. That's not really your business now, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's been really good. I've been reading Transformers more than meets the eye. Uh, the new Skybound stuff is even on there. Um, I definitely recommend it for anybody who wants to check it out. And they have more than just Transformer comics. They have Ooh, clearly a ton of other shit. Yeah. I... Oh, go ahead. No, no, you, you go. You go. No, JD. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. You're, you're like, uh oh, Jim, Jim, when I was talking, he, he was like, a... and so I got to hit him with the. Uh... So he understands we're about to. And then when I, uh. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. Well, um, if you guys enjoyed the crapshoot, you should like, subscribe. All of my animals. We do this is real. every Sunday. This Sunday is when these episodes come out. They come out Sunday. You wouldn't know about it unless you subscribe. So do it. And if you like James, you can find him in the description below. All his links are there. When, when do they come out? I didn't hear you. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. One more time. The day of the Lord. And Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday. That's enough from me. 
James, bring us out. I watched a man die in front of me.